Go ahead. Hi, this is how you winterize a 2017 Jayco Eagle HT 28.5 RSTS. You start over here, the low point drain. And there's a little drain down here. And this drains the fresh water tank. You just leave that open and all the fresh water will drain out. Then you have to go in here. Zorro. One. Me too? Yeah. Well. Okay. You have to put out the big slide, which on this coach is extend slide room two. Big slide? There's two? Yes. Isn't it going to hit the fence? I moved it forward so it wouldn't touch the fence. Okay. That was the fence falling down, that boom. Oh, no. Why do you have to extend that out? I'm going to show you. Now you come in here. You don't have to go behind your table. I have to go behind the table for the grill. <laughs> huh. You come into the closet, and there's two little screws that you have to remove. One, two. You can take this, place it aside. Now come around over here. This is the hot water heater, and this is the bypass. You have one valve. You want the two valves, rather. One valve on the bottom, one valve on the top. You want the handle to be in line with this. So you put that one down, you put this one up. And what this does is when you're filling up the RV with antifreeze, it doesn't fill the hot water heater. It comes in, goes through this line, and goes back out into the rest of it. What I recommend you do is you take the screws and just put them back in the holes where they came out of so you don't lose them for later on. I have a question. Sure. The thing on the bottom? This? Yeah. That's the furnace. Is that silver thing that's supposed to be attached, not attached this? all the way? Yeah, you see Is how it? it's got an opening? It's attached. No, it's not. No, it's just not attached very well. But... All right. You're losing heat from right there, right? Yeah. Say how observant, my darling wife. Yeah. There you go. It's still loose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Jake go and look at it since it is under warranty. You could take this and just slide it in there so it's out of the way. I'm not attaching it because when you go to Rehook everything up. You're gonna to have to take it off anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now. There's more sand on the floor over there. That's the same sand, isn't it? I don't know. Okay. Now we come out here. Okay, I'm coming. Sorry. All the way around. <laughs> Come in here, and you come in here. Got one of these little things here that hold it open. Okay. Now what you need is to take the stuff out of the way. I guess I could have done that. I'll do it later. You need one of these with a one inch socket. You come over here, you twist this. There's a little plug right here. This is your hot water heater. You've seen it on the inside. Okay. You take this little plug out right here. 
Can you say why you're doing it? It'll drain the water out of the hot water heater so it doesn't freeze and burst the hot water heater. Oh. Am I going to get wet? Nope. I just take the plug, I leave it in here. Sometimes I actually just leave this in here also. If you're not driving with it, you mean? Right. You, you can let it pour out through It'll the thing close? Like that. Okay. Okay. Now, you take this right here. A little pair of pliers. And you just loosen this up. This is my own contraption because the check valve is bad. If you have one of these right here, okay, this has a little valve that you could pump air through the system. <gasps> so that's what happens when you turn the pump on. So we're going to pump air through the system to blow all the water out of the system. Okay. What if you didn't have an air pump? Well, I recommend you have an air pump. Okay. <laughs> now in here, two screws, and this panel comes off. It didn't look like it needed to be screwed. I know. I don't have it that way. Now over here, you have a valve over here, and there's one all the way in the back. Okay. Okay, and that bypasses... You see this right here? Yeah. You need this hose to suck out. So you got to go to the valve that this is attached to, and it takes the water from draining out of the fresh water tank, and drains it out of the jug instead. So you have to reach all the way in the back. You really can't see it. Do you want to take this camera? Uh, it's dark in there. Okay. What if you couldn't reach it? It's pretty easy to reach. Okay. Okay. Now let me go get the uh, air compressor. Okay. I'm going to pause it for a second. Yep. So. so now I have an air compressor here. Okay. Okay. It's a neat little one I got from Lowe's. And what it does, you hook it up. It's good for bicycle tires. It'll do a car tires okay. Truck tires, it's very, very slow. So if you have to top something off, it's okay, but it'll, ta it'll take you 10 minutes to go from 75 to 80 pounds them over here. You put this on here. You go like that. Now it's locked on. All right. What I do is I set it to about 30 pounds because I don't want to overpressure the system. And I figure, I don't know if it's true, but the campgrounds, they're like 45 pounds of water pressure. So 30 pounds of air pressure shouldn't hurt anything. I hope. And I press stop. Now we go inside. Inside of what? There's 30 Wait, pounds say of now pressure. again. Now there's 30 pounds of pressure in the system. And you turn this on, it'll push the water out until air comes out. I probably have to turn on the compressor again because it has an automatic cutoff. I will be right back. So with the compressor running, 
you'll have water coming out until air comes out. So it's pushing water through the whole system right now. Do you have to do it in the bathroom yeah. and the toilet? Do it at every faucet and the toilet. Okay? So that's the cold water. We have to do the hot water next. All right. Right. Now we'll do the hot water. Wow. Well, actually, that was the hot water. Now we're doing the cold water. I'm looking at it backwards. Okay, now let's go do the bathroom. Okay, leave this spitting? Yeah, you can leave that spitting. We'll do the bathroom. I don't want to have, I want to have something on at all times. So that the pressure thing doesn't shut off? Right. So there's the cold water. Now I have to go shut that one. I have to go out there and shut that one. Come on, we'll come all the way in. Like. Yeah. See? See? Cold water. Now we'll do hot water. Now we do the shower. Cold water. Until that shut off? Yeah, I can shut it off. There's a little bit coming out. Okay, that should be it. That's air through the whole system. Okay. Now we gotta pump antifreeze through the whole system. Okay. Again. Alright, I'm taking off the, the air valve. You hear the compressed air coming out? <laughs> Good thing it's not cold out. And I'm putting this cap back on because we're bringing it to Jayco or a Jayco dealer so they can look at the check valve. This is not supposed to be on there. That's not supposed to be a necessary thing. Okay. You still have that blue thing down. Is that good? Yeah. That's, that's okay. where you want it. Okay. Now. This is how you put antifreeze in your Jayco now. By, by the way, we're ha expecting a nor'easter, and that's why we're doing this, even though it's 60 degrees right now. Okay. This little siphon hose goes in here. Okay. And remember I showed you that little valve that you had to turn in the back while I told you about it. I couldn't show it to you. Plus, it's all the way in the back. Okay. All right, what you do now, after you have that in there, you turn on your water pump. This one has an inside and an outside. So you're going in, getting sucked into the system. Oh, yeah. It's going to fill the lines. Except the water heater. You got to put all four in there? No, I think it's going to take two and a half. Okay. It stopped. Now, I'm just going to put this in a fresh one for now, because we're going to go inside. Okay. Now let's go inside. Okay. okay. Okay, now all you have to do is you go to each tap. This is the furthest one. And it's going to pump it. See, it comes out pink already. Now if you got pink antifreeze coming out, close it. Go to the hot water or the cold water, whichever that is. You let the pink come out. 
okay? This faucet is winterized. Let's go to the next one. I should take the water out of my Keurig. Can't winterize that. No. Again, one faucet at a time. It's pink. This, by the way, is also winterizing the pea crap. Okay. Or the elbow, whatever people want to call it. Why do they call it a pea trap? Because there's people it who pee. It like a pee. Oh, I thought okay. people peed in it. Now you have to do the toilet. See? Yeah. It's pink. Exciting. Don't get it on my shampoo when you do the shower. Okay. Just don't spray it on it. It sprays all over, so I'm going to just remove this stuff. Okay. All right. And one. Two. It's out of antifreeze. Let me go change bottles. Okay. You squeeze it by me. <laughs> okay. Now, again, we're doing the shower. Okay, that's pink. Okay, that should be winterized. Turn the shower off over here. This way when you turn the shower on, you don't get wet. Now, can I put this back in there? Yeah, I guess. If you keep your stuff on the floor in the shower, you pretty much can keep it okay. there all the time. Should we lock that? Not, not that not it'll yet. work. Not yet. Okay. Well, this, this could be locked. It's kind of almost broken, so be careful. Yeah, I know. We have antifreeze here. There's going to be a little bit of water in the tanks. It just I drained them, but whatever came out of the, the faucet and everything else. So you just pour some, you want to make sure you have some in each crap. And with it in the tank, it should be good. It, it, really the problem with winterizing is the cold destroys these things, not so much the, the plastic, because that has a little bit of give in it. Okay. So there's that. We have another gallon here. I'm going to put this in the black tank and then the other shower. Because the shower has a well, different... The shower I ran a lot through, I'm talking about the, the other set. But I want it in the black tank. And I'm also going to put a, uh, a pod in the black tank. Okay. Because I just think it's a good practice to keep one of these in there also. Get a little more in this fresh water tank. This actually gray tanks. Yeah, gray tanks. Sorry. Oh, I need to take my purple thing in. Okay, I'll leave that open. Okay, the trailer is just about winterized. There's one more thing I want to do, and I want to show you. Okay, can I pause? Okay, now that the fresh water has finished draining. You close it. Actually, I'm going to leave it open for a second. And I'll show you why. Come around the other side. Coming.
my last step of winterizing. Over here is a valve. Can you come closer and see it? That valve right there bypasses the water system. It'll run antifreeze back to the fresh water tank. Okay. And what you so what you do is you turn it facing that way. You see it draining? I hear it. I see it. And now you should have antifreeze coming out over there. Should I go the run over there? Tank. 